Just how many real miles does our 2024 Tesla Long Range Model Y get with a full charge? Watch this test lucky video to find out. <laughs> Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky, the 2016 Tesla Model X, and Karma, the 2024 Tesla Model Y. This video was inspired by a comment on our 150,000 mile battery health video that we recently posted for Lucky, our older high mileage Tesla Model X. 222 computer miles or real miles? Difference in driving the streets of hilly San Francisco and flat Wyoming. What's the real miles? We thought this was a great question. We have never done any type of videos or any experiments with our Teslas to try to determine real miles versus rated miles versus ideal miles. So now we're gonna do this in two separate videos. This video for Karma, our Model Y, and a separate future video for Lucky, our Tesla Model X. Karma, the Model Y, is gonna go first because the last four videos on our channel have been all about Lucky and it's Karma's turn because after all, we are a Model X and a Model Y channel. So let's first take a look at Karma's specs. Karma is a long range all wheel drive Tesla Model Y with an initial range of 310. We have a January 2024 manufacture date, full self driving, lithium ion battery, and free supercharging for life. On March 24, 2024, the day after we drove Karma home, we took her to the supercharger, charged to 100%, and saw 303 total miles. Six months, and 8,261 miles later, on September 28th of the same year, we charged Karma to 100% at a supercharger and only saw 303 miles, so we lost one. Not bad. I actually learned in the making of this video that Tesla has discontinued the ideal miles option. We see this in Lucky. We can select a setting for rated versus ideal miles, and that setting is not present in our Model Y. So I, uh, I never really put much weight into the ideal miles anyway, but it's gone. So let's play a little game. How many real miles do you think Karma is gonna get in the real world on a full charge? Go ahead and put your guess in the comments right now, and then at the end of the video, you'll be able to see how close you got. It's gonna be so much fun to see all your guesses. Now, before I give you the real world range data, we're gonna talk about eight factors that influence range with a Tesla. And I imagine these things would influence range on any electric vehicle. And we're gonna talk about the conditions for this little experiment because there's so many different factors that go into how many miles you can get on a full charge or a partial charge on your electric vehicle. Factor number one, are you an aggressive driver or are you a conservative driver? I'm a very conservative driver, so I'm gonna get more miles on my charge than an aggressive driver. I just am. Factor number two, full self-driving. I did most of this drive in full self-driving. Probably 80% would be my best guess. And from my experiences in either a newer or an older Tesla, when you're using any version of autopilot, you tend to get more miles because you don't have that human foot on the accelerator pedal, you know, inadvertently fluctuating the speed of the vehicle. And that steady, constant speed is good for conserving your battery and getting more miles. Factor number three, the weather. The weather can play a big impact on range if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's raining, if it's windy. All of these weather conditions do impact range on an electric vehicle. On this particular day, it was warm. We're in Florida. It was mid 80s all day and I didn't drive in any rain whatsoever. And speaking of the weather, the over-the-air software update that we just received 
which is 2024.26.3.1, now gives Karma the ability to provide a weather forecast and air quality report. Your vehicle status bar now shows the local weather conditions alongside the temperature. And when the air quality is poor, your vehicle also shows an AQI symbol and index value. Tap the temperature on the touchscreen to see details about your local weather forecast, such as weather condition, highs and lows of the day, and the chance of rain. That is so cool. Now this new feature does require premium connectivity, which we have in both Karma and Lucky, our mo older Model X, but we have only seen this feature added to the Model Y. So far, our 2016 Model X cannot give a weather forecast. Factor number four is also somewhat related to the weather, and that is air conditioning. Are you blowing the air conditioning on full speed, or are you using just a moderate amount? AC usage has a major impact on how many miles you're gonna see with a full charge of any electric vehicle. And I already mentioned I'm a conservative driver. Well, I'm also pretty conservative with the air conditioning. For this particular little experiment drive, we kept the air conditioning temperature set to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We kept the fan speed on a range between three and seven. Factor number five is about the route that you take. What type of driving is it? City or highway driving? And what are the speed limits? We had like three different types of driving in the same 24 hours uh, that we were doing this experiment. So for the first 35 to 40 miles, it was city driving in Fort Lauderdale, congestion, slow speeds, lots of lights, lots of cars, lots of stopping. We started the experiment drive with 100% battery at the Tesla Superchargers at the Galleria Mall. And then we drove to our hotel in the suburb of Plantation, stopping at Cookie Crumble along the way. Then we went to and from our hotel back to downtown Fort Lauderdale to see Lawrence in concert. They were awesome. We had such a great time at the Lawrence concert. The next morning we had about 58 miles of Florida Turnpike driving through Miami on our way back to the Florida Keys. The average speed limit on the Florida Turnpike is 70 and I kept my speed within five miles of the speed limit at all times on this particular drive. Then in the Florida Keys on the overseas highway, we drove all the way from Key Largo to Key West and then back to the Tesla Superchargers in Big Pine Key, which is about 165 miles of Keys driving. On the overseas highway, the speed limit fluctuates quite a bit between 35 and 50 miles an hour. It gets to 55 only a couple of times. And once again, I made sure that I was within five miles of the speed limit, no more at any given time. Factor number six is sentry mode, something that is known to be a battery killer. Now we used sentry mode at the mall while we were having lunch and at the concert venue and at our hotel overnight. I did a Google search for how much does sentry mode drain battery. I saw as low as 5% for a 24 hour period, up to 25% for a 24 hour period. Sentry mode users watching this video, what have your experiences been? Please let us know in the comments below. I'm also wondering if the number of times that sentry mode is triggered and produces videos, if that has any impact on battery drain. I, I imagine that it would. For us, we had 18 different sentry mode episodes and 18 different videos as a result. Unfortunately, none of the 18 videos produced by Karma's Sentry Mode had any embarrassing moments for strangers, uh, so nothing entertaining that I can include in this video. But I understand that that happens quite a bit. I know that my cousin Luke had the most unbelievable Sentry Mode video within like one week of owning his Model Y. It was really, really funny. Has any of the viewers of Test Lucky got anybody doing anything uh, embarrassing on Sentry Mode? Please tell us those stories in the comments as well. 
One last thing on sentry mode. I did notice in a recent software update that they now give you the ability to exclude home, work, or favorite location. So that would be a way to try to prevent some of that battery drain with sentry mode. Factor number seven is cabin overheat protection mode. We keep this on all the time and we have it set to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Cabin overheat protection attempts to maintain the cabin temperature under the chosen temperature while parked for up to 12 hours. And this feature does not operate if the battery level falls below 20%. Factor number eight is regenerative braking. One of my favorite features of the Tesla and that one pedal driving goes a long way to making sure that you get the most miles per charge. It actually captures kinetic energy and reduces the amount amount of energy that is wasted and puts it back in the battery, which is awesome. We also noticed that in addition to removing the ideal miles from the display, Tesla has removed the setting where you can have low versus standard regenerative braking. We have that choice with our older Model X and that setting is completely absent in our newer Model Y. So I guess now it's like a one size fits all for regenerative braking and they just expect that people are gonna get used to it. This drive in Karma, our Model Y is very typical of the way we're using this vehicle for trips to the mainland and long road trips. So let's get to the big reveal. How many real miles did we have in this real world driving experiment? We arrived at the Tesla superchargers in Big Pine Key with just 4% battery left. And we drove 267 real miles with that 96% of battery. If you do the math, 281 real miles on a full charge. But nobody's going to drive down to zero, like not intentionally, right? 303 minus 267 equals 36. 36 miles on a full charge that I guess we just couldn't access. I mean, what were we going to do? Like turn off the air conditioning? Like not in Florida. And I want to be able to use sentry mode and cabin overheat protection because those are important safety features. So the battery is required to support those features. It is what it is. Still very happy with the range that we see with Karma. What are your thoughts on this little experiment that we did? Are there any factors that impact range that we forgot in our list? Please let us know in the comments below. So we are going to be doing this real world range experiment with our 2016 Tesla Model X with almost 155,000 miles on it. So if you want to see how Lucky's real mileage in the real world experiment turns out, click the bell for notifications. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video to the end and safe travels to you in whatever you drive.